Last week, I shared a really cool hack on how I find content ideas for my social media that I know that my potential new customers or business partners would absolutely love. I'll link to that episode in the show notes below just in case you missed it. Well, since that episode was such a huge hit, I wanted to come out this week and share with you another way that I use to find really great content ideas for my social media and for my episodes and my YouTube videos and my Facebook lives that I know is going to be a really big hit with my audience. And I don't have to think too hard or put too much effort into it. This tool does all of that for me. So if you find yourself stuck on what should I post or what kind of content should I create to attract my buyers for my products or my services, this episode is going to be an absolute hit and I know that you're going to love it. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 226. My name is Tanya Liza. I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly helping you design a lifestyle that you love. If you're new here, consider subscribing and make sure to smash the notification button because I put out a brand new episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week and you don't want to miss it. And make sure to check the show notes below because I leave a bunch of additional extra resources that go with the topic of the the episode that will help you crush it in your business. So check the show notes right after the episode. Okay, so this is an activity episode. Grab a notepad, grab a pen, we're gonna dive in. So before anything, okay, you need to know the benefits or the solutions of what your product or service or business does for people, okay? So if you're taking notes right now, I want you to write down the solutions that your product or service or business provides to people, the solutions or the benefits, right? So write down five or seven solutions or benefits that your product or service does for people. That's really important. So once you do that activity, you can take it into the tool that I'm gonna actually show you how to use, but you gotta know the benefits and solutions that your product or service provides. So if you have to pause this episode right now and make a list of like seven or 10 benefits or solutions or problems that people have that they're looking for solutions for that your product or service can provide, I want you to start thinking that way right now because this is how you're gonna come up with the best content using this tool. So if you have to pause this video right now to make that list, do that. Did you pause it? Did you do it? Okay, let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna do this activity with you together just to give you an example so you can see how this works in the flesh, okay? So let's say, for example, you have a skincare line that you are wanting to sell. Now let's think about what are the benefits and what are the solutions to people's problems that this skincare line could help with, hypothetically in this example. So it came up with five. So the first one might be reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So you can write that down on your notepad as one of them. Another one might be helps to get rid of the appearance of dark circles or puffiness under your eyes. The third one might be helps to reduce sunspots or dark spots on your skin. The fourth might be evens out skin tone or helps with acne. Another one might be tightens up loose neck skin. <laughs> I don't know, that is that one. Might be, we're gonna see. Now really think about this, right? Now I want you to think about what are the problems and solutions and things that the people who have these problems that are looking for these solutions, what are they actually thinking in their terms? Like what are they saying? I wish I had a solution for blank, like this problem, whatever it might be. Or your perfect customer is walking around saying, I wish I knew how to, right? And then insert whatever it is that you know that they might be looking for that your product or service really helps them with. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that list of seven or 10, hopefully you did this, and we're gonna take it over into the computer. We're gonna take it over to Google or YouTube 
and I'm going to show you how to use the Google Suggest or the YouTube Suggest tool to figure out all these cool content ideas that you could create around solving a solution or getting in front of uh, solving a problem or getting in front of your perfect customers and providing the solution of, of buying your product or service. And these are the perfect people that are already looking for what it is that you have. So let's go over to Google, let's go over to YouTube. I wanna show you this in action. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna hop over to google.com. And when you get over to google.com, we're gonna start typing in the uh, the beginning of our benefits and solutions list that we've already started creating, okay? So in this case, I already shared, you know, we've got some ideas here. If we were using the example that you had a skincare line that you were trying to sell, and these were, were some of the, um, the benefits or solutions that you know that your audience who's gonna experience the benefits of this product are actually interested in, right? So reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So we can start typing that in right here, okay? Or we could even start typing in variations of that. It doesn't have to be exactly that. So it could even be how to get rid of wrinkles, like something as simple as that. Anything and anything to do with fine lines and wrinkles. What is your audience saying? So how to get rid of wrinkles. And if we start typing in, it's gonna give us suggestions. And this is why it's called Google Suggest Tool. So how to get rid of wrinkles is great, but look at all of the variations of this and specifics, how to get rid of wrinkles on neck, how to get rid of wrinkles under eyes, how to get rid, rid of wrinkles under mouth. Why is Google suggesting these to us? Well, the thing is, is there are people, there's lots of people typing these exact phrases in Google. So what does that mean? It's your people, your perfect customers are wanting this information. So you can write down all of the relevant ones that you could create a specific piece of content or a specific social media post around and help your audience with that um, topic, give them some tips, give them some free information that's gonna help them with what it is that they're looking for and then have a call to action to be to reach out to you to learn more about one of your favorite wrinkle and fine line appearance reducing solutions, right? And then you're gonna have a conversation about your, your product line. So I would never think about that people were looking for how to get rid of wrinkles on lips. Now, if you actually have a product that can help people with that, then create a social media post, create a piece of content on that, get in front of people that are you know are looking for that information give them some value and then have a call to action in what it is that you're doing, right? So how to get rid of um, wrinkles, right? Now you can also just search that, right? And see what comes up and you can get a lot of really cool um, ideas and tips to include in your content. If you're not really all that, you're like, you're like I don't really know how to deliver content on that or tips on that. Well, Google will help you with that. So look at all these tips, right? How to get rid of wrinkles, wear sunscreen, limit sugar intake. You can turn that into an episode. You could turn that into a Facebook Live. You could turn that into a social media post. Do you not think that that would be very valuable to your people? And also get the people engaging who are only interested in that topic, all right? But what you can also do, there's lots of things. You can also um, look uh, at the related search down at the very bottom on the first page here for ideas as well. And some of these things won't come up in Google Suggest, but there'll also be maybe really great ideas for content, you know, how to remove wrinkles from face at home, right? So go find some really cool value and create a piece of content around that with a call to action to your, your product or service, right? So take that list that you have started with and start writing in variations um, of Google and let the Google Suggest tool suggest you ideas for content for your audience. Now you can also do this in YouTube, by the way, okay? YouTube has the same thing. I mean, YouTube is 
owned by Google, so obviously it would make sense that it has the same thing. But the, the YouTube suggest tool is going to be um, showing you suggestions of people for that are searching specifically in YouTube for these things. So you can get tons of really good ideas too. So let's try um, how to get rid of dark. Okay, even just dark and then look at all the ideas or that people are searching for. How to get rid of dark circles, how to get rid of dark spots, how to get rid of dark underarms, how to get rid of dark inner thighs, dark neck. Now, some of these are gonna be relevant to your products that your product can help with and some of them won't be. But get a notepad and start making notes on what is relevant um, circles. And then you start typing in circles and look at all the suggestions. How to get rid of dark circles overnight, how to get dark circles with makeup, a ton of different content that you can create for your audience. And you can do this for every single one of the ideas that you came up with as far as your, your solutions or benefits that your product service or business does for people. Okay guys, so Google suggests tool, YouTube suggests tool, fabulous, fabulous free ways, like no brainer ways to just go and get ton of great content ideas for your business, your brand, and to help you sell more of your products and services and put you in front of people who are actually searching for these things based on Google telling you there are people out there searching for this. Get in front of them. Bam. You have content ideas for decades, you guys. Okay, so between the last episode, episode 225, and this episode 226, you guys have a plethora of amazing content ideas for your social media, specifically situated to help sell your products or services. Now, in every episode of Tanya on Liza TV, you guys know that I like to equip you with a free resource that goes with the episode. So today, since we're talking about content ideas, right, for your social media, I've put together 25 of my favorite social media content ideas that are specifically put together to help you sell your product, service, or business and to get more engagement on your social media. So if you would like to get these 25 ideas that I've compiled and put together for you absolutely free, then head over to the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 226 and pick that up right now. It's gonna give you some really great ideas that you can couple with this strategy and be good to go. We'll also leave a link to get to that uh, area where you can get my social media posting ideas in the description of where you're watching this video. It'll take you to my blog. Right on my blog, you'll see this video and then right below this video, there'll be a big yellow button where you can request access to get my 25 social media posting ideas. Go get them, they're amazing, you'll love them. Question of the week. How do you come up with good content for your social media? And what type of content have you been posting lately that's been getting the most interaction? I would love to get some ideas from you and I'd love for you to share with the community if you would like to. I really hope that you do and share in the comment section below and join the conversation. I'm really excited to see what it is that you're doing. So did you get some value out of this episode? I truly hope that you did. Make sure to share this with anybody that you think that might find Find value in this episode as well and might need this strategy for their social media posting efforts. Share it with your team, get it out there, and make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure if you're watching on my YouTube, subscribe and get notified because I put out a new training every single week and you won't want to miss a beat. And I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.